Hi, my name is Lisa Liu, and I'm a registered dietitian at the St. Michael's Hospital Family Health Team. Today, I will be speaking to you about understanding your child's growth. In this video, I will talk about how children grow, what affects growth, understanding growth charts, and how to support healthy growth. How will my child grow? Children grow through times when they grow quickly and other times where they don't grow much at all. How quickly and how much children grow in height and weight will change based on their age, development, physical activity, and how much they eat. Sometimes when we think about growth, we only think about changes in weight and height. But even when your child's weight and height are not changing much, they are still doing a lot of growing inside. For example, the brain is growing and developing. There are many things that affect a child's growth. And here are a few of the things. Where the body and the brain are in their development. Your child's genetics, family and environment. What, how much, and how often your child eats. When your child is sick, it can decrease how much they want to eat and the types of foods that they eat. How physically active your child is. And any changes in their routines. Let's take a closer look at these things in more detail. Development is how children grow physically, how the brain learns feelings, and how they learn to communicate. All of these areas of development are linked. Depending on the child's age and stage of development, this can affect how quickly they grow. Giving children lots of opportunities to learn new things helps both their brain and their body to grow. Family and environment. Certain characteristics can be passed down from one generation to the next generation. This can include height, weight, body structure, eye color, and hair texture. For example, how tall a child will be when they are an adult is affected by how tall their ancestors were. We might expect a child that has short ancestors to be shorter. The environment that the child is growing up in also affects growth. Children that have enough food, clean water, feel safe, and are able to see a doctor or nurse when they are sick are more likely to have healthy growth. The types of food children eat and the amount of food that they eat can affect their growth. There may be times when children eat more and there are times when they eat less. Some foods and drinks have a lot of energy but little nutrition and can actually cause growth to increase quickly. These foods and drinks are usually heavily processed with added sugars, salt, and unhealthy fats. Creating an environment that is supportive where children have a specific place to eat offering a variety of foods at meals to choose from, and allowing children to feed themselves will all affect how well children eat. When children are sick with a cold or a fever, they may feel less hungry. Their body might also be using more energy to fight the sickness. And when they are sick, it's more important to make sure they're getting enough fluids so that they stay hydrated. Once they start to feel better, they usually eat more. If children are sick for a long time, this can affect their growth. Your healthcare provider will monitor their growth if they have been sick for a longer period of time. When your child is active, they are using more energy. Learning a new activity like crawling or walking or a new sport can use up more energy and growth can be slower during this time. And this is a normal part of development. Changes in routine can affect how much or how often your child eats. For example, when a child is starting a new school or daycare, they may feel stressed or anxious and may not eat as well during the first few weeks while they're getting used to the new environment. Traveling can also change how a child eats because it can change the sleep and wake schedule, the time when they eat their meals, and the environment where they eat. They might also be trying new foods and need the time to learn about these new foods. Any change in sleep and wake routines can affect appetite. Usually in a few days or weeks after a change in routine, 
children will learn to adapt and their appetite will usually return to normal. What are growth charts? Growth charts are a tool that help your child's healthcare provider understand how your child's growing. This growth chart is used at most visits with your healthcare provider to track height, weight, and head circumference for children under two years old. Growth charts look at height and weight as a pattern or curve on a line to show how children grow over time and are not focused on only one measurement. If your child's growth is a bit above or a bit below their usual growth pattern, this is normal. If your child's growth is much lower or much higher than their usual pattern, this is an opportunity for your healthcare provider to ask questions to see if there are any concerns. Growth charts can be hard to understand so please ask your healthcare provider if you have more questions. How do we support healthy growth in children? There are a few things that we can work on together as a family. Offering a variety of healthy foods, have a regular routine for eating and sleeping, lots of physical activity, and getting enough sleep. Now let's take a look at these things in more detail. To support healthy growth in children, offer your child three meals a day with a snack in between for children to choose from. Having enough opportunity to see a variety of foods is what will help children be more likely to try new foods. Each of the foods provide different nutrients like vitamins, minerals, fiber, protein, energy, and healthy fats. For example, fruits and vegetables provide minerals like potassium, fiber, and many vitamins. Meat, tofu, nuts, fish, eggs, and legumes provide minerals like iron and zinc and protein. Milk products like milk, soy milk, cheese, yogurt provide minerals like calcium, vitamin D, and protein. And grains like whole grain pasta, rice, cereals, and chapati provide energy, vitamins, minerals and fiber. Some of the foods like nuts and seeds, avocado and fish and seafood and all of the vegetable oils naturally contain healthy fats that is good for the brain and the body. Offering a variety of all of these foods every day at all meals will help encourage children to get the nutrition they need for growth. To support healthy growth in children, have a regular routine or schedule. Have regular times for sleeping, meals, toileting, and physical activity. Routines can help to make sure children have enough opportunities to eat and sleep well. Sometimes copying routines set in daycare or school can help make it easier for children to follow routines at home. To support healthy growth in children, have regular physical activity. Physical activity helps to strengthen the body and can help children to feel hungry for meals and eat better. You may notice how hungry children get after they've been playing outside or running around. Regular physical activity is also important for good health overall. For children over one years old, aim for about three hours of physical activity throughout the day. This could be playing at the park. For children older than four years old, aim for at least one hour of more energetic physical activity. To support healthy growth in children, help your child get enough sleep. Children need between 11 to 14 hours of sleep a night to help their brain and body grow and to repair itself. If children are younger than four years old, they may need one or two naps a day. Setting a nap and sleep times at regular times can help children feel that they get the right amount of sleep and feel more tired. Try not to compare your child to other children. All children grow differently, even children within the same family. Remember that you should only compare how your child is growing to their usual pattern of growth. All children eat differently as well. Some children eat more and some children eat less. Try not to have expectations 
about how much your child should be eating or how much they should be growing. Remember, how much children need to eat and how children grow are based on changes in their age and stage of development. Sometimes when we worry that our children are growing too quickly or growing too slowly, we try to do things to change the growth. These things may include forcing our children to eat or feeding our children instead of letting them feed themselves to help them to eat more. Allowing children to eat less nutritious foods more often because we think that this might help them to grow faster. Or offering a lot of milk, formula or breast milk because we think drinking more will help them to grow faster. Sometimes we worry that our children are growing too fast and might try to restrict them from eating and drinking and try to control how much they eat. We know that these things do not help children grow healthily and often create more stress and problems. Remember that changes in growth take time and will not happen quickly. This is normal and expected. If we work on the habits that you've learned to support healthy growth, we will see that your child's growth will return to its usual pattern over time. When should I contact my healthcare provider? If your healthcare provider has told you that there are significant changes in your child's usual growth pattern, if your child is eating very little foods or not eating enough variety of foods, if your child is having stomach pain or constipation, and if your child is over one years old, and prefers to drink a lot of cow's milk, soy milk, formula, breast milk, or other drinks rather than eating foods. In summary, I talked about how growth changes at different ages and stages. Many things can affect growth. Growth charts are tools to understand growth over time. And growth does take time. To support healthy growth, offer a variety of foods at regular times. Have regular routines. Get enough sleep each day and night. And offer opportunities for regular physical activity. If you would like more information, here are some resources that might be helpful. Understanding Growth by Dietitians of Canada. Thanks for watching. If you would like more information or to discuss your child's concerns in more detail, please contact your doctor, nurse, or registered dietitian.